Hey everybody, how you doing? Lazarus here once again with another episode of Let's Play Level 1 2 Hard Mode Blind. Because apparently I like pain. So, we've gotten, we've gotten a fair bit done recently. Let's look over our inventory as to how we usually start. Only we have found Katana, which is definitely our best weapon now. And it certainly seems better than it was in the first game. But notice how there's like a... I mean, it's only two hits, but it is a combo. You swing two different ways. That seems to be true. I haven't tried that one. Yeah, look at that. That change is the results of the Vajra. Yeah, the right here still sucks. Is it longer than the whip? Like, I'm just I'm trying to understand what the fuck it is. No, it is not. It is the same length-ish as the whip. Maybe it's a little teeny bit longer, but, like, it's weaker than the whip. At least weaker than the chain whip. It's slower. I don't know. It just it doesn't work at all. Offers me stabbing and swinging leads. I mean, rapiers generally don't. They're good for stabbing. They're generally not very good for swinging. I mean, this is really good for me. Katana, though, <coughs> especially with the bi-directional swing, is awesome. Uh, what else have we got? I told you about the badge. We've got um, life sigils. We can pop a third sigil now, which is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, Frey's ship, which I think we're going to be using today. Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. And I got this totem pole. It's a figurine that amplifies the girl's power. You can add a prayer hall to the girl's memory. Yeah, they're those little blue shrines that look like when we played the first game. It looks like the mother's shrine and in her boss room. And it was in, you know, you'd see it in the face one. I think it was actually the inner, like, right where her aunt spawned. And you see her face between it in the first phase, and you would see all the when you get the final phase of the fight, phase five, you would actually see her womb with the ninth child between the two pillars. Presumably that's the ninth child, our replacements. That's why God had to die. Makes you kind of wonder what the final boss is gonna be in this game. If the last game ended with us literally killing God and stealing the treasure sacred treasure of all. Where do you even go from there? We'll find out. Probably not for a while, but uh, yeah. So we're definitely on the lookout for these, um, these, these secondary uh, rail lines. Uh, you can see some of them in here. Yeah. Where were they? I would have sworn I saw them in here. Maybe we need to go to this. I've teleported. I've seen them in here. Now I'm confused. Oh yeah, look at this! Yeah, I'm playing on the backside, in a room, with the little, the little, two little blue thingies. With this pretty nice stone face. This is Anfwen, Anwafen. Now I know how to pronounce it, thank you, Lois Grex. I feel less stupid. Anwafen. Get by, by a fucking vowel, okay? Ancient Welsh people. By a vowel. But yeah, it's also interesting. It's on the backside. I don't know what this. I don't understand what the significance of that is. Why is it on the backside? Do we need the backside software to teleport to it? Probably. We can check. But whatever. Yeah. So objective today, at least for right now. I mean, obviously, we want to be getting as many of those as possible. We'll see a bunch. We need to fill them out. <coughs> yes, Mr. Crack. I am indeed doing well tonight. Well, relatively works pretty lately, but but if we're here right now. I will be uploading videos to YouTube after this. That's just getting in the way. I got them processed. I got six of them uploaded. So that'll be cool. We'll get those things flowing again. I got like six more that need to be processed in tonight's session. But yeah, we're getting into the action right now. We're going to use Bray Ship. We're going to take a crack at the third Guardian. Now, I'm sure there's more we could do and potentially get more HP upgrades. I don't know how this is going to be. I'm guessing somewhere between very and ridiculous. So let's go check it out. It's kind of be good, and uh, yeah, we do want to go to Anaphan. I think we actually want to go to the secondary area as opposed to the boss point. And anything that we can do to not hemorrhage HP before we get there, probably in our best interest. Yeah, so not hemorrhaging HP. Alright, <laughs> let's just go, you know, fix that. Oh boy. God. Let's hope that that is not a 
I just gotta get my, uh, my sea legs. Yeah, that was, that was, um, just a Over. Here we go. I guess I'll go up and risk taking a hit from the skeleton. Seriously. Or I'll just change my goddamn weapon so I can actually hit him through it. Like I want to. We're still really hurting for double jump. I think what we need to do is actually pretty complex. They are hearing like the power of storms you needed, and I think that's when we need to kill that frog boss in um, Dark Lord Masley. We need Mjolnir, which gives us the power of storms, which we have been led to believe is inside the belly of Jormungand, which is the fourth guardian of Immortal Battlefield. I think it's the fourth guardian of Immortal Battlefield. I would like to not get in too many fights with those monkey dudes with the, uh, they're pretty bad news. Wait a minute, there's a freaking chest over here. What is this? Yes. Give me the thing, dude! Let me move! I don't care. Give me the thing. I want the... Loose, dude! The dang loots! Give me that shit! Yeah. Keep your freaking ghosts to yourself! What the fucking balls! Wow, okay. I mean... What was my warning? The fact that I didn't do anything in this room to unlock that? Okay, then. I think we've set the tone for the evening. Let's go to the other entrance. Actually, I know it's down. It's down from the prison. I think the uncle is down. Let's look at the map. I'm I'm curious as to what that tablet says there. Does the tablet say like, hey, don't open this for some reason? That I need. Oh my lord, please. We're just gonna go check that now. It doesn't matter. Or we'll try and grind up some HP. Yeah, we might be able to do that, actually. So, what is this, this thing over here, sir? Thank you. Thank you for that. That's where I wanted to go. The floor. All the cool kids are now chilling out through the floor. Okay, you who holds the seventh children's figurine onto your holy grail, we should bestow memories of you. Spectacular. Seven children of the philosophers from the first game, uh, the, um, the, uh, the elders want them. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of just want to get some health. So where's the... I guess it's the bottom of this. Oh no, never mind, it's right here. How do we open that one? Does that one fuck, butt fuck us too? There's a fairy. I just noticed the fairy. Oh, I bet you I know what the fairy's for. Indicating we need Frey's ship. Yeah, dude, get this dude out of here, please. I mean, you know what? It doesn't matter that we've lost some health. It really doesn't. I mean, like, what do you, you think that this is going to be a successful run right now? Like, you think we're going to kill the boss the first try? That's probably not a thing. So let's go. Let's, um, get fucked. YOLO. <coughs> Please just use the ship for me. Don't tell me I need to use the ship or activate the ship. Just make the ship happen. And give me my shield. Oh, yeah. Get in the ship. There we go. All right, here we go. We are flying through what appears to be like the Dark Sun from Dark Souls 3. Because you talk. Because you don't. What are your targets? What are your targets? What are your targets? What do we hit on you? Can I get on top of this? I can, get on I can run up and down this. That's what's going I don't want to get... Oh, boy, you are big! Whoa, okay. Eyeballs. Curve them. Katana. I want Katana. I want increased range. Whoa. Oh boy. What are you doing? Don't break my that. I need that. I think that if we um, raise and lower the shield, I don't. as long as we don't get guard broken, I don't think the buckler will break. I think that's what breaks it. We need a better shield. ASAP. Whatever that means. We're really tearing ass right now, too. Um, so, whip. Let me see my over my head covered. Jeez, do I even want the Vajra? I kind of want this over my head at all points. Alright. Well. Right. Okay, please. I just 
stop with that? That'd be great. Oh, the targets. There's a lot of targets. Phase three. I'm sure it's gonna be bad. We gotta time it perfectly to get rid of them. Yeah, bad. I really want a better shield. Okay, we can't. There's too many projectiles, dude. I think we need to go for the shield. I wonder how far that is, though. Like, how many phases does he have? So if we continue, we'll have a little more health. Oh, you're gonna start me here. You're not going to take my buckler, though. Okay. So. Yeah. The silver shield, dude. Also, the flare gun. If we had the flare gun, that'd be pretty sick. Because then we could shoot up directly. We don't have a weapon that shoots up. Although, you know, spears might be good. The shield is good, but it's too fragile. I don't even know... I don't know what the rules are. I thought it was if you didn't get guard broken, but maybe a single hit is enough to guard break you for certain projectiles, and then it's gone. I feel like it's kind of important, though, with the number of projectiles that we're dealing with. We might need the shield. So let's just try again. I want to see a little bit more here. We know that... Probably don't want the katana, because I want that overhead coverage that the whip gives you. And I'm real glad... Oh, yeah, we got the, um... You know, the, the chain whip. I don't know if synopsis for the Sunday stream. Shield, I guess. <coughs> I'd love to know where we get to um maybe we we'll get the the silver shield. That'd be great. We might just be on if this doesn't go also I didn't get full health. Yeah guardians were I forgot to get full health. It just restarts us in here with health. Yeah, so. So he's got five eyes. Is, it, is that all we gotta do is take out all five of them? It might just be like, go fucking fast. Yeah, they only did three. Yeah, don't be standing near that. Yeah, so that's all in the back right now. See, he's still got his front eye. a little more in phase three, and that will make the determination as to whether I'm going to push forward or if we try something else. So I'm sure there's more we can do. It's a bowl with a fucking volcano coming in its back. That's, you know, I'm not sure. There's too many ads. Second attempt? Is it the third attempt or the second attempt? Not that hard. You seriously gotta just knock out those five eyes. Just fucking grin and bear it. Just go wail them down. That's the secret. 
the longer that fight goes on. Like, you can face tank that even on hard mode. Which is, you know, pretty damn amazing, because, you know, hard mode face tanking in general doesn't actually go well together. Right? Just to not do that. But, hey, yeah, we did it. And guess what we get to do now? We get to get fucking knocked out by this stupid monkey with a fucking lightning wand here in the closure. Oh, dude. Dejit Pillar. So, if we can find mantras now, we can cast them. We may need software in here as well. Do we get like a notification or something about this item? I feel like that's a thing that you should tell me about. Yeah, it adds mantras from the Mantra app tab. Do we not have that? An artifact that offers master of recantations to learn. Press the item button to incant mantras. Add mantras from the Mantra app tab. So we do need the software, just like in the first game. I, I mean, so like, the, the ancient beings who created the Dejit Pillar had a laptop? Because video games. I'm done questioning, you know? I'm done questioning, it's fine. Good. We'll just, just take it at face value. Oh yeah, we got um, this thing too. Yagu Map Street. Now we can see the good map. some point in time. I think you had to beat four bosses in the first game before that happened. Yeah, I know, dude. That was sweet. That was sweet. I can't believe that went as well as it did. I expected that to be like the full two hours of just fucking bashing my head against it. Not too bad. Let's go on. Back to the Let's get the katana in. Let's get the fuck out of here. And go to the surface. Now, where do we get Montrose? Where do we get the software? We gotta get the software first, and then I assume we're gonna have to go to like some tablets and other there are numerous puzzles that involve you know, saying various things, like the name of such and such god and such and such room. This is just, that's the shit in there. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much better. I'm kind of amazed that we didn't get a notification or a message or something like this. Yeah, I'm sure it's totally great. Who are you? Are you still fucking useless? You are freaking worthless, man. Absolutely worthless. Also, we can't go. I want to. I'd love to see what's up here. You know, because we can't go. We've been there in the first game, but we aren't there anymore. I wonder if we go back to zones that are deep. Also, I don't know how many zones there are. The fact that there's 13 first in skulls might mean that there's more than the standard eight or nine zones. Right, we'll just move and go. <coughs> I want to find any of those things. The prayer shrines are there. Okay, it's fair. I love this place, obviously. This is the best place was over here. I feel like there's not going to be any way to get over here. I don't know if there's any involved. I just I know I've seen a bunch of them just trying to play. Let's go to the I don't know if this is the side I want. I want to go to the other side. There's less to do on this side. There's less roads that are easily visible. I think we have the Octo for this. I thought, actually, let's go to... I just want to go to... To the room that has that extra grand thing in it. See if it has a map symbol. Does this room have a map symbol? Because that would, you know... It does. It just looks like a regular ground town. Okay, it's got a back side symbol. I don't even know if that appears to... Oh, wait, 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 I know what we got. I know. Well, I don't know. But I remember there being a place where... Yeah, I do remember. Never mind. Okay, good. We do. We want to go right here. Let's make another save. There is a three-soul soul gate that we can open now. So let's go and see what that brings us. It's what I mean. We're going to a new area today. Literally the worst enemy in this game I've found so far. 
I guess those Bucky guys that with the lightning wand. I mean, those things live in Shrine of the Mother in the last game. They were, like, literally end of the game enemies. And now they're in, like, the second or third area. Oh, hey, look at what just that, look at that shit that just happened. Let's go down. And somehow they are fucking gone. Did they go through the door? Did they go through the door on my hard work? They didn't even talk to your own fucking daughter? Granddaughter? Oh! Oh! I think the thing pushed me. I mean, maybe he went through the door? Let's, I want to go through this door. That's what I want to do. So, excuse me? What does that say? Because that word was too much word. Takamagahara. Takamagahara Shrine. The Takamagahara Shrine is where we are now. That's a lot of word. Also, I mean, what, what culture is this? I mean, I mean, it sounds like an Indian word? The Chinese rat. Oh, okay, let's bust this. Bust this shit is wide open. Oh, look, it's my favorite enemy. He's back again. To fuck. What is, the, is this zone the break the block zone? Is that a sock puppet on the wall? Is that enemy a sock puppet on the wall? Is that what's happening? Whatever. Progress. We're uh, basking in it right now. We are just rolling fucking off deep in progress. My god. I am never going to be able to get monetized with all this swearing. I don't think I'm going to do anything about it though. Kami Musabi. Musubi. Kami Musubi. We, Kotoamasu, are at war with the Anunnaki, the Sky People. Oh, I think that's... I guess that's bad for you. Is that, um, the Matakama Jewel attached to your side there, which was not even the first game? I don't know what you want. Oh, you are from the first people. It's Snake Girl! Like, yeah, man. You are from the first children. Is this, are you one of the first of the first children that we've actually encountered? She might be one of the first members of the first children we've encountered. You need. We <laughs> the game punished you for your success. We started with that, didn't we? The game punished you for my success. Like, what do you think? What do you, how long do you think it takes before I get blown up by an eyeball for the fact that the big mechanic here is way along the walls? Because they pretty much the eyes exist, so you don't just do that. Anyhow, now Nuki. <coughs> oh, pardon my permanent cold. I got like two more months of it to do. Well, April we should fix it up nicely. Anunnaki are attempting to take over our world. This is no time for the various children to be fighting against each other. No one here will heed my words. So I have decided to hide here and barricade myself behind multiple walls. Yeah, I noticed that. There are many walls. Also, I have broken all of your walls. I'm sorry about that. I hope you weren't super duper attached to the walls, even though it sounds like you were. But, like, you know, seriously, the walls are my favorite. Oh, yeah, you. Alright. Well, just stay down. I got the to kill the sock puppet. It's mocking me. Alright, it's not mocking me. It's gonna hit me. Okay, maybe it's mocking me. I don't know. I don't know how to interpret the emotions of the sock puppet. I guess we'll have to learn, so okay. Down. No. There we go. Down. That's Dargan! Look out for the Dargan! Thing. Dashi, wielder of the nine tails. The time during which you may do battle is limited. Dashi waits in the execution. Is that the creature with like the like a shape shifting creature with the nine tails? I don't know the name, but it's a, I know it's a Korean myth. Maybe this is Korean. Maybe that's it. Also, what are the swirly heads? Oh my God! It's that boss from Kirby. It's dead. A little weaker than the boss from Kirby. You know what I'm talking about? Eyeball cut up thing. It has a name. Okay, you get one shot it, you get fucked. I don't see eyeballs, so. I want to be over there. Where the switch is. Because <laughs> this is probably the map. Fucking sock puppet, dude! So, I mean. I see, like, there's two switches over here, and I'd like to be getting all of the business now. I'm gonna switch there. I'm gonna switch there. I kinda 
kind of want to hit it. I do. I want to hit it. Let's go look around. Uh, so I don't know if we should look for um, the Mesa and Shore. I think she's... Her name is Lumiza. His name is Lameza. And the grandfather's name is Shore. I say Shore. Grandfather's like mentioned in the first game. Apparently they're wandering around here together. There's one step behind them. As noted by the various curry stank ones. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that ice cloak at some point in time in the near future. This is definitely some lava problems that we could deal with if we had that. I think he despawns when he gets on the screen. Alright, let's go around. I'm gonna hit those switches. Hopefully, one of them is not a nightmare like that switch. Which there are many of them. Okay, you kill them and their fucking balls despawn. That's what we want. We wanna make sure their balls stay despawned. I think we wanna take the last one. The switch, that's happening. There's some lava. Can't deal with it. Hey, neat! Cool. I still can't loop around, though. We're still not where I wanted to be. Let's one more crack at that. <laughs> Drop down the mirror. But now we can go through there. So that's cool. That was still useful. There should be the beast area and some of these enemies. I don't really feel I mean, so far they've all been taken one like one yet. These enemies are Easy compared to that one. Okay, here, death ball over there. Things just suck. Wolfie here, he's not so he's not too bad. Yeah, Wolfie will be relatively cool. It's a fun skill. Skeletons, they got for having no muscles whatsoever, they all quite a fun. That guy won't watch shots, but And you steal the elevator, that guy. Sucked him right out of existence. Okay. Whatever. They're bad news. I would love to know what it takes to kill the metal skeletons. Can you just not kill the metal skeletons? Oh, pop it, pop it. Yeah, they all take one hit. Ow. They take several. Alright, guess what? I want the thing! Give me the thing! There we go, I got it. It was worth, worth it. Got it. Okay. Ooh, look at that. There's like a chunk of it that's like separated. We've also got a fairy pump of boss. Some kind of fucking doors. There's another zone exit down below. And there's a ladder to get out of here. Over if we take a right. A lot of interesting stuff. I wonder where I think I'm gonna check out the purple border. Or, wait a minute, what am I doing? That is that is dumb. Dumb. Grail chapel is apparently in here somehow. Get me to that. I'm concerned for something happening. The lava. Apparently, whatever those are. Look at the arm on that skeleton, dude. That is craziness. From the foot of the wall toward the sedge. Alright, let's go. Basically, the picture is key. I got a bad feeling that skeleton's in the fire. Oh, I hate you, skeleton. Oh, you see that? There's a lip. Oh, oh, wall, wall. Oh, fucking get dead. Get fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. Okay. Ooh. Got some beefy HP on that guy. I mean, it's a wall. It's literally a wall. To heaven. That is what this is called. This is not called the Pit to Heaven. This is called the Takamagahara Shrine. So the enemy must actually spawn in another area that maybe we we're supposed to see first. Heaven and all the souls of many died on natural deaths and never leave your breast. They spread illness and calamity and take on any form having no true body. In 
Egg Bomber, they take on the form of demonic beasts. This dude. Mirakabe. Mirakabe appears in dead ends that have been placed under a curse. They block the only escape route using the bodies of a giant wall and crushing their prey. They said they continuously attacking at their base with chase them. Okay, we gotta swing low. Eninara. Eninara. Eninra. Evil spirits made of smoke, they have eyeballs and smoke, but it's simply side of the smoke. They seem to die pretty damn easily, honestly. Let's do it, like a good hit. Once they have a dog, the wind bird, they have no particular will towards humans, but they show no mercy towards any who dare to pillage their territory. They use staves to channel find magic to control fire. See, like, is this actually called the pit to heaven? Because, like, she was definitely in here. She's not gonna be a woman of the place. A woman who supported word like thing. The firstborn of the first children. She is far older than she appears. She, she created the Kodamasu to resist the anonymity of the sky people. We're trying to destroy the mother of the mother. Sorry. I saw that Tiamat was the first of this, this generation. Tiamat was literally the first. Anyhow, with her strength lost, she barricaded herself on multiple walls in the pit to heaven. You know, everything I've ever been taught about, you know, religion, mainly Christian religion, I, I'm actually working myself, but, uh, uh, the heaven is definitely not in a pit. That's like the other place is in the pit. Okay, good, Grail Temple. No, read it, read it, dude. This is the Takamagahara Shrine. Then, buried by the walls of those who closed off their hearts to others. Let's do it up. Let's do it up. Right, so there's a fairy point down. Um, maybe if we can go down from here, we can see what's in that room. And we can like talk to the fairy. Ball cat is watching me. Actually, floor cat I think is watching me from behind too. But yeah, the wall cat is like sock puppet. <laughs> wall cat is definitely gonna watch me masturbate. And floor cat does that as well. There are three cat here, so they all watch you. Cat is always watching. Izanagi. This is this like Japanese? Snake people are Japanese. No. I went down to the underworld to see my dead wife. However, oh, those who have fallen to the underworld cannot attain life again. Trembling with terror at the sight of my horribly decayed wife, I sealed off one of the entrances to the underworld to break the seal chant the words of my mantras, sun, moon, and sea. That's probably important. This sounds important. Okay, next. Wait, if you are able to venture the underworld, find the mirror. Within this mirror, made from the bronze mirror? Interesting. The bronze? Okay. Not familiar with the first game. The bronze mirror was an important early game item, and what it did was it linked front and back side zones by a door. There are ways to get to the backside that didn't involve us. The main way to go from the zones front side to back side is through the bronze mirror door. You know, but if you have the bronze mirror and you, you need to kill the guardian of it. That was usually there was some fuzziness to that. Like the spring in the sky, he killed Bahamut and didn't open that actual door. He needed to kill Vi to open his door, which was actually in, in the surface, but for the most part, you kill the area guardian and the front and back door open with the bronze mirror. Bronze Mirror still exists. I don't know what it does. You know, the front and back side doors that we're just not even using? It's kind of like the soul beats do that. I don't know. Whatever. There's Bronze Mirror in the Underworld. It's a good thing. We need to get it. Last power to illuminate the true path. The mirror will allow you to find the gate from which you can leave the Underworld. You understand. I, I do. That sounds good. That sounds interesting. We need mantras, dude. We gotta find mantras. Oh, Skelly Man. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll catch. I'll catch. Curse you floor for killing me. I will reincarnate and turn your ceiling tiles and turn you into ceiling tiles and cheese dip. P.S. Get good floor based cheese dip next week. P.P.S. Make sure to reincarnate and not get killed by the floor. This floor. Is it this floor? Is that the floor? Oh, it's down the floor. I don't really trust the wall cat either. They're the small key in the sequel that they do. Yeah, if we find any keys, I'm sure they're going to be used for that. I can't really stop. What is this thing? Are you smacking it? Oh, it's 
also one of those. Okay, we need bail. We need, we need to get some HP. Hey, it's front side. How many is this? So surface is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is it. Well, we'll know if we get to the ninth front side. And it's... probably going to this wheel now because the, the secondary shortcuts. But yeah, so they... I mean... There were eight main zones in the first game. No, zero was Overworld. Nine was Shrine of the Mother, which didn't have a backside. Sort of. The backside was what happened when you got to the end of the game where you had to fight Mother. The Shrine of the Mother was closed off a little bit, and it became a true Shrine of the Mother. The backside. But it was kind of like its own thing. So, I mean, that might be the entire front of location. Although, you know, this one, I don't think. The Mortal Battlefield, I still think, is two zones combined into a battlefield. Well, there three of them over here. This one. I don't know, I just mean that thing is now on the backside. I don't think that's true. I don't know. Also, the fact that we got the front side, back side software so easy, that's, I don't know if that's like just a, a gimme for returning players who would, like, get that software and Oh, I know exactly what this is. It does. Now I can tell it the backside. And then other people would know and quit. Probably a little bit of these had the memory space for each right now. Maybe you notice the difference. Maybe you wouldn't buy it. I, I don't know. But the fact that you saw your first all, like backside grill tablet in uh, Valhalla, and like two rooms right, one room up, one room down, you get the software. Seems weird for a game that um, generally doesn't like you playing, and it wants to let you know things. <laughs> All cat too. Wow, 22. All right, let's go down. Oh, jeez. Can I even make that jump? If I can make the jump, this guy was like, I gotta drop in the middle somehow. I can't drop. Are these things fucking solid? Yeah, like that. Yes. They are solid. Ow. Oh. Well, that sure changes things, doesn't it? Uh -oh. It's almost like. Oh, wait. Much corner fucking, okay? I saw that happening and still couldn't prevent it. And some metal skeleton, too, so it's not even. It's not really even. I don't know if you can duck it. I don't even know if you can. I don't think you can duck it. Like, they always get up, so it's not even. Like, you, you definitely get like a Mexican standoff type situation. Or, like, you know, the anime, like. Energy blast. You sure can't just keep hitting bones. No one makes any progress. Your time just has to go by, and you contemplate your, what you're doing with your life. Because of the metal skeleton. <laughs> Their accuracy is just phenomenal. So now we do know that those things in the foreground are solid. That's what we need, bro. That's what we need, like, clock tower. Castlevania clock tower mechanics is what we need now. I mean, that's, like, the number one, like, the Metroidvania. Like, it's very Metroid, except for the Vania jumping being, like, a really important part of the game. Alright, so we can do that. Yep. Once again. Yep, okay, that, that, that went well. That's good. Let's try again. Let's just jump down on the right. Let's forget about that room over there. Let's just go to the left. Let's go to the left. I'm left handed. You generally. 
I'm actually partially into dexterous, so I can kind of do some things. Well, I do most things that I can do. Some things I only do exclusively by like, hand. Like, I use sporting equipment, or like this. Oh, God. Anything like that, I tend to hold my right hand. Also, mouse. I can only use mouse with my right hand. I can only do the left handed mouse thing. I'm not sure. I don't remember if, like, that was originally uncomfortable. Just look at the, the purple. Purple's interesting. Purple is so mountainous. I guess to have switch your weapons. Hit some racks. Do this. Click here. Go here. Do the thing. Okay. <coughs> Alright, let's um what we're gonna do. Save. And because it's been like an hour, we're gonna just do a little stream cut real quick. And it's for this for the purpose of YouTube right back so for all of you watching at home on youtube after the live broadcast thank you so very much for watching i really appreciate your continued support and if you're enjoying the series drop me a like leave a comment i would love to hear from you and if you want to know when i post new episodes of this and any other series i've been playing just click the little red subscribe button down below click the little notification the little bell icon i gotta get some graphics i can like throw on the screen with that shit like i've seen people do that might be tacky maybe we don't do that i don't know but either way thank you guys so very much for watching I'll see you in the next episode.